I started making videos on YouTube in November of last year, that's 2022. And one of the first videos I filmed was Alton Brown's eggnog. As far as cooking and even cocktails go, Alton Brown was and is a big inspiration for me. I watched Good Eats in high school and he was the source that taught me how to cook. His show also gets nowhere near the credit it deserves for its writing and for its production value. When you watch Good Eats, you don't even realize it's written. Alton talks and even thinks about things in the episodes, pulling dates and remembering historical events as if he's just thinking about them in real time, but he's not, it's all written. That's all a level of performance from Alton and something I never pieced together as a kid in high school when I was watching how to cook a turkey or learning about fermentation from sock puppets. In fact, Good Eats was such a big inspiration for me that when I made that video last year, I tried to film it like an episode of Good Eats. And I'll tell you what, if I had a cooking show, I would definitely cut out the back of an oven and be talking to the camera through either the oven or a kitchen cabinet. Now that video from last year, uh, it wasn't good, so I deleted it. But I did save this, Alton Brown's eggnog that I made in December of 2022, one full year ago. The Alton Brown eggnog recipe does call for it to be aged for 14 days, but does mention that it's even better if you age it for a full year. So today we'll make a fresh batch of eggnog and then taste it against this aged version, which yes, this has been in my refrigerator for one full year. I'm gonna make it exactly the same as I did last year with the same exact ingredients and most importantly, the same booze. The only difference is I'm going to have Alton's recipe for this year's eggnog because I don't need a ton of eggnog for this year. I'll include the halved recipe and a link to the full recipe at Alton Brown's website in this episode's description. For this one, you'll need six egg yolks, half a pound of sugar, half a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, and I always keep one of these in my pocket, an eighth a teaspoon of salt, eight ounces of heavy cream, eight ounces of half and half, and eight ounces of whole milk, and do not forget the whole milk. Four ounces of a Jamaican rum, four ounces of cognac, and four ounces of bourbon. I'm hoping I have four ounces here. I'm starting with my six egg yolks that have been separated out. I'm gonna beat in the sugar and the nutmeg until it lightens in color and hits a ribbon stage. Next up, I'm gonna combine the half and half, the cream. Future me here, it's another year, another screw up to Alton Brown's eggnog recipe. When I made this video, I forgot to put in the whole milk. So the way you're gonna see this drink being made is without the whole milk, but I've adjusted that. Don't forget the whole milk, it's in the recipe, and I'll do a new tasting at the end of the video. The rum. cognac, the bourbon, just barely, and salt. All right, next I'm gonna slowly add in the cream mixture to the eggs. So here's what happened. I made this whole video, I, I posted it to YouTube, and one of the first people to see it commented uh, asking if I also forgot the whole milk in last year's version, and I didn't. Uh, what happened was when I was uh, taking the, the recipe off of the Alton Brown's website, I just missed the whole milk. I made this many times before. I remember that there was milk in it, and I remember making this thinking there was something off, so I even double checked the recipe on my phone. I just missed it. And the website, Alton Brown's website, has the correct recipe. It's just something that I missed over. Now, uh, for those of you, the 100 to 200 who saw that video, my tasting notes on the new version were that it was exceptionally harsh. It was extra boozy. And that makes sense because I was missing 
eight ounces of milk in that batch. I've readjusted the new recipe here and it does have the milk in there. Now, when I did this about 24 hours ago, I used this glassware and I calculated out how much whole milk would have made it into the glassware. So I didn't put a full uh, eight ounces into my uh, leftovers because I, I knew I drank some of it, but calculated the best I can. I will say one of the things I noted in that first video was how much more yellow the new version was to the old version. And even today, before I put the milk in it, it was it was a lot less yellow so that the egg color had kind of died down. No, another small discrepancy, and I knew this when I was making the video yesterday, is that the temperatures were gonna be slightly different. I used cold ingredients for the new eggnog, but after mixing them together and taking about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I'm sure the temperature dropped on that. Both of these are straight from the refrigerator, uh, so they're gonna be the same temperature, so we're gonna have a little bit, uh, maybe of a better comparison. So I'm gonna pour them and we'll try them right now. There's still a color difference. The new one is definitely more yellow. And then the older one, it it's, has that creamy milky look, but there is like a tinge of, uh, a, it's a little more brown in color. And one of the benefits about me making videos the way I have this set up is I can come out and just sort of like roll the camera. This wouldn't have worked for another cocktail, but since uh, the milk kind of comes in last, uh, it's easy to add that back in. So had that happened with a, a different cocktail, it probably would have had just delete the whole thing, but. Um, sorry to Alton, I'm glad to have corrected this. And uh, before we taste this, I'll say, I'm gonna come back in two weeks because the original does call to be aged for two weeks. So we'll taste them today. And then I'll come back in two weeks and see if the flavor at all of the new version has changed. So when I tasted it before, it was like extra harsh. Those, uh, just the spirits in general, it wasn't like a flavor that came through, mainly just like lots of booze. It's more mellow now. Uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with a day in the refrigerator, but it's it's mainly the milk. And I calculated out the total volume of uh, the end product. And in this glassware with this pour, it's about one ounce of milk that I was originally missing. So that is gonna temper things down a little bit. And there are two things I'm noticing that that does right away, which is it brings down that sort of eggy flavor that's going on. And then it also is decreasing the harshness from just the spirits. All right, let's try the one year old eggnog. The age version is definitely more kind of like mellowed out. It's a little more consistent in its flavors there. You're not getting that sort of harshness. Uh, it's not overwhelmingly boozy. The Smith and Cross rum is more pronounced in the new version than in the age version. But there is this uh, kind of taste going on in the age version. It's hard to describe. It's almost like its own kind of funkiness. It's its not the same type of pungency or funkiness from a Jamaican rum like a Smith & Cross, but there there's something going on there that makes it um, substantially and I, I'd say drastically different than this version. So those are the notes I kind of had when I first tasted this. Um, they're the same, but with the extra milk in the, the new version, it does help tamper things down a little bit. So if you're going to make this uh, I'll update the recipe here. There's a link to Alton Brown's website if you wanna make the full version. And I'll be back in 14 days to uh, go over uh, these again to see if our new version has really changed at all, if there's any differences to it, and to see if it's getting closer to the one-year-old version. Both of these are delicious, so if you're willing to uh, try this, you can make a batch now. End of the holiday season. If you have any left, maybe hold on to it till next December. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.